The sluggish river trace, woven tightly, stains with many a days, sparkling in all its grace, seemingly an all pure base. There flows the stream flawlessly, view of beauty wirelessly. Endless paths lead to the dawn, move menacingly as its palm. A shallow shell to the rain, currents against you, not playing. The river across your mind, bonded to you, the bended kind. Cross any time, border bend, to harness the horrid time. Harmony of every hour, the awe-inspiring skill to scour. Yet, it retains the liquids, stays pure, deny all the fluids. Restless force of it all, longing for peace. Not only did you fall, for neither its charm nor call, but found yourself here in school. Uh, that, that's not the end, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you very much. So now I'd like to present to you uh, a poem written by a 19th century poet, Padre Callum, uh, who was an Irish poet a dramaturg, a novelist, and a children's books author. It is called An Old Woman of the Roads. Oh, to have a little house, to own the hearth and stool and all, the heaped up salts against the fire, the pile of turf against the wall. To have a clock with weight and chains and pendulum swinging up and down. A dresser filled with shining dove. Cold and white, in blue and brown. I could be busy all the day, clearing and sweeping hearth and floor, and fixing on the shelf again. My white and blue and speckled store. I could be quieter at night. Beside the fire and by myself. Sure, with a bed and loaf to leave. The ticking clock and the shining delf. Oh, but I'm weary of mist and the dark and roads where there's never a house nor bush. And tired I am of bog and road and the crying wind and the lonesome hush and I am praying to God on high and I am praying him night and day for a little house a house of my own out of the winds and the rain's way. Thank you.
Thank you very much.